Hello and welcome to today's uh, guide on how to proceed with the project we started on tutorial whereby we are dealing with Joe Django. And uh, today I want us to check on some of the elements or advancements that we can do into our map. And uh, you remember the last time we had our data, this was our output. And um, if I just do something like this, if you click on each of the icons here, they don't display any information. So this one, this map is just, we just seeing some funny, some markers on a map, but uh, we can read, we can only tell what the, they represent. So uh, we want to give it some information so that uh, at least someone using the map here can get some uh, ideas on what we are trying to communicate on a map. So, uh, and as we check on our system here, we have something like this. So it has its attributes, but uh, we need to know, or we need to show a, a public user such information on our marker here. So we'll be doing that, the short, uh, uh, short thing, but um, we need to edit what we had. And uh, very fast, um, our code that was generating the map here uh, is as follows. It was, uh, it's this one. So we want to edit the code here so that actually our function here so that we can display some information or pop-ups uh, with information on, on our markers. So this is how we, we're going to go about it. So we're going to, um, first of all, get the layer that you're trying to, to show the information on. And then uh, we're going to add the markers or the pop-ups uh, on our markers on our map. So uh, I want to do something with very fast, but... Um, before I begin, uh, is that uh, as you can see here, we didn't define any variable or uh, any element for our data. So we got directly our JSON data here, and then we used our uh, URL, which is here directly, this one, which is here uh, directly. So for us to do some customization, we can either add the code here in this section inside this, um, the, the two braces here. Or we can just use another method that um, I'm going to use today. So uh, first, I would like us to have a variable that uh, we define our layer with. So for example, I'm going to call it our layer, something like that. So um, so it's a leaflet there. Yeah? So we're going to do something like this. Yeah, and then we're not going to instantiate with the maybe an, an null value. So uh, we want to add on each element here, when you click on it, it should display a pop-up with some information, maybe an ID and a name. So uh, we're gonna do something like this. So we have this. So this is defining our our layer as a variable. So uh, with this, we're gonna alter this. Yeah, so this one might be uh, something like, um, we're gonna comment on that, uh, oh, sorry. We're gonna comment out that and uh, something like that. Then uh, I'm gonna do so. Our layer here is the one that this data, our data, is being loaded into. So we can put maybe our layer inside there. Dot add data. Then we put data inside, and then something like that. Then uh, we're gonna now add our layer into the map. This one here. So we can either do it inside here or we can put it outside. So uh, depending on the approach that uh, one wants to use, uh, it's all good. So we're gonna, maybe I'm gonna put it outside here and uh, gonna say maybe our layer dot uh, add to map. Oh, sorry, to map. So something like that. So the, the, what we have here is exactly the same as what we have here yeah so um it's just a matter of uh, different approaches yeah when you are developing a, a system or maybe when you are uh, implementing your elements so now we want we have our layer here which is being added into the map so and uh, if we just refresh it here there we have our points so still the same results as we had before so I'm gonna add um, how now we're gonna add uh, information or pop-ups on in every element or every marker that we have on our map here. So I'll start by just adding. Um, 
so we want to add or maybe we want to implement a function maybe on each feature function so um we will have the function and also we'll have where we define it or where we put it into our layer so i'm gonna start maybe by doing something like this i want now to define or to put our layer or our each feature function which will be called uh, once uh, the application the function reaches this section and then it will display it will bind every layer or every uh, pop-up with some information from the marker so um, we can just call it uh, maybe on each feature these are common names that are so um, on each feature we can define it that way so uh but as you notice we don't have a, a function which is on each feature and now we're calling it here so it is by default we have to write the function up here uh i hope you understand the basics of uh, writing functions so for it to be called you must first of all define it it might be global or local but now what we're defining is local to our function here so um so we're gonna now write our function and uh our function which will be called on each feature um, on each feature so something like that so we want each feature once it's clicked then uh, our okay our layer is a uh, has features and uh, we want that on each feature once it's clicked it should pop up some information so um our variable to use will be the feature and the layer so uh, as you note here we are we have our layer which we are adding data into so we want the data that comes as sets so it's a feature collection so we want at each feature in the layer that we're gonna define now what will be displayed so um we're gonna have uh, now on our layer we want that uh, when it's clicked so we're gonna have define some function or some element of um, we are directing the the function telling it uh, what will ha um, when d does it display the information is it when it's on hover is it when it's, when it's click like this so um, we define a function inside this bit so this is where we'll be having our information classes um, what will be seen one, uh, once once a, a, a pop-up is uh, a marker is clicked so um we're gonna write now a function here and um we want to deal with each of uh, the features inside the layer so uh we're gonna have something like this yeah there so we will define uh maybe our pop-up our pop-up something like that then uh now we write what we want to be displayed in our pop-up so we might maybe uh want to display something maybe the id which will be equal to so we can put something like that so then we reference to the field that uh, has our information so uh, according to how we defined our class here or our function here so we're gonna just use the basics <coughs> so it will be a sorry for that so we have our element here which is here so we're gonna use it here and i want that to tell you that uh, it should target or it should place the pop-up on where the feature is located so uh, then it should display the information that or the properties of our feature here so now we are referencing the or putting the id to be shown as the value of the id here in our in our data then we just put something like that so we might want maybe to gonna copy paste that and put it there so this one we're gonna call it maybe name and then we change here to name so uh that one um yeah something like that then uh we're gonna maybe implement um we're gonna do something like this and then we can implement something like that so what we, we want is uh it should display the id then should break and display the name here so uh 
Okay, oh, sorry, this is a uh, yeah, there you go. So this one should display two lines, one with ID and the one, other one with name. So then after now displaying what will be in the, our pop-up, we should bind this to each of the feature. So we're gonna write, um, it's a very basic uh, <coughs> function, uh, function or element here that uh, we're just implementing. So it will be our pop-up there, then, uh, so we're gonna define maybe where do, does it open the pop-up so it should open the pop-up where our feature is so uh something like this so then we're gonna use the target that we wanted here so uh we have this variable or this element that's defined for each of the element or feature in the, the layer so we're just gonna use because they are point layer we're gonna put uh, the latitude the longitude simple so with that we are done with finding our, our function that will be called every time the on feature uh, information is requested so you're gonna put something like that yeah uh, so no, that yeah so now this one ends we're gonna close our, our function so what it says is that on click a function now should be executed here whereby we define the, uh, the pop-up information to be displayed and then we bind that information to each pop-up that will be displayed on a certain location or where our mark is located so we call the latitude longitude uh, a variable or the, the library so now we're done with that uh, so this one will display information on each of our pop-ups and uh, if we save that and uh, we try to reload that yeah bingo where we go so uh oh it's not showing so we're gonna see where the issue is so we're calling that so our data here uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. so we see where we maybe have a mistake so there you are with the name 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 id layer dot pop up or pop up okay attitude yeah so uh this one is a uh, light i think um so we're gonna have that but that where our layer get your json null then on each feature there then um we're gonna have yeah it's, it's right i don't know let me refresh it again Mm-hmm. Oh why right. then we're gonna let's debug that. Oh what's this thing taking us? No host. Mm-hmm. Wow. So we're gonna uh inspect that and see what the issue is. Get it. Oh, the code is right. I don't know what's the issue. Okay, let's see. Evaluate what the issue could be. So we had that a function here that gets the data from our. So our layer is called. Yeah, pop up, pop, pop up. Then, uh, uh, the pop up, ID, that. Mm, these are some of the issues you get when, uh, sometimes uh, it's code, uh, misbehaves sometimes. So, uh, we have that, wow, there, I look json now then on each feature on each feature ah oh, 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 oh. this is the issue oh it should be another oh, thing it should be something like that yeah something like that so 
So if we refresh this, yeah, there we go. Oh, huh. stupid errors. So uh, as you can see, we have uh now when you click on each, you see you find some information. You ID or oh, undefined. Uh, what could I, let me check? Oh yeah, yeah. We don't have ID. Remember this one with the property of the, the variables, the properties that are called by when you're loading the layer using the GeoJSON layer view. So uh, we must put ID as one of the, the fields to be loaded. So um, we now refresh this. Yeah, there we go. So we can show our ID and a name. Wow. So these are, as you can see, we've just implemented... Uh, a very simple code here to just do some magic and uh in this is awesome and uh maybe in the next tutorial we're gonna see how now to maybe we're gonna change the color beams or maybe do some more uh um, advancement on our code to just do more operations in our data so that was simple it was quick and uh thank you for watching